Hey everyone, welcome to Daily Design Day 187. I sped this up just about a little bit because it was so long. Anyways, I start by using my brush tool like a sort of like a chalk brush tool and I put an X on her eyes and this sort of like nose bleeding situation and then added a little scar on her forehead and added a couple of piercings, I guess. But then I feel like this was a little too much, so I deleted some. I just left two piercings. And um, I added a brightness and contrast adjustment, then grouped everything together, duplicated it, um, merged it together, and then I blurred it a little bit and then here's the hard part i added my gradient map and um it's been really tough lately i can't find color combinations that i feel are like cool for that image so i just spend hours of my time and trying to find some color combinations i like and here i found one I liked and that's it but I kind of like it but not 100% so I grouped everything together duplicate again merge it again and then started to add my textures first is a half tone texture that I duplicate and then merge together and then um, make it smaller duplicate again merge again because I want the dots to be really small then I change the blending mode to something that fits well my image. So I first usually go through all of them and see if anything fits. Otherwise, I'm going to invert its colors because usually with a black background, you get a different effect if you use like a screen um, blending mode. I then add my plastic textures, um, my folded paper texture. Oh, this is starting to look nice. Um, I lowered the opacity because I think the it was too harsh. Um, yeah. Lowered the opacity of this too. I think I later deleted that texture because I didn't like it a lot. And then add some grain. Um, a sail change by, uh, blending mode to screen. Whenever I have a black background texture I usually go with screen I feel like that works really well um, this is a photocopy texture um, I rasterize it invert it um, so it's got a white base and then change the blending mode um, I think this is one of my last textures it's another paper texture um, always trying to find the right blend mode and position uh, lower the opacity for this too I then add the no some noise effect on my base image and then group everything merge duplicate and add a camera raw filter now here I can really get into every single individual color and edit it to my liking. For example, I wanted the blues to be less blue, um, a little lighter. I wanted the yellows to be more dull and the reds to be um, more saturated. So I guess that's what I do. Play around with all the colors in Camera Raw. This usually is, takes not too long. I just slide the, there's little sliders, I slide left and right and see what which way I like most. Um, I then I add a displacement map on my text. So I have to convert it into a smart object first and then add the displacement. And um, I think we're, I think we're done. I add a color overlay and make my text um, black because 
You couldn't really see the white on this yellow background. And that's it. All done. Um, let me know if you like this or hate this. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post every single day um, both a shorts video and a regular video, but my regular videos are still pretty short, so that's the cool thing about them. Um, and comment what you'd like to see next. Okay, love you guys. Bye.